so in this video we will learn about custom glass and we will make it by using a uh, OBX in the state management so first we are going to create a new file right in the lib right click create a new file and name this as a student dot dot so right in here in the student we will have a class and name this as a student and in here we will have a variable name we will pass the name in here I'll pass my name will share and I'm gonna make that reactive as you guys know with the dot OBS so right in here we will have another variable and this will be H this will also be reactive so write OBS and now we will import the library just simply write in here import in here write package and the first one as you guys can see the error is gone so that is the class for a student in here you can write your name and make it reactive with the OBS and then your edge also make it reactive with the OBS so now we will go back to the main dot dot so first we will create an instance for a student class right in here so write variable and in here student equal to student So now after this we will work in the get material a right in here as usual we will have a title and in title we will say state management by using obx and custom class after this in home we will have a scaffold widget and in scaffold widget we will have a app bar in app bar we have a title and in title we will have a text and in text we will say the same text right here just copy it and paste it down in here now we take the body here and in body we will have a center widget and in center we will have a child and we will column widget as a child set the properties a uh, main access alignment set it to center after this cross axis alignment set it to center now take the children and in children we will have a OBX right in there we will have a text and in text we will say name is and then we will pass the student name value in here so right in here student dot name dot value after this we'll do some styling in here text style 
in text uh, we will set the font size set it to 20 point now font right it will be bold so basically that objects will automatically update the student name right in the text and after this we will set the size box give the height to 10.0 after this we will have an elevated button right in here we will have a text and in text basically that elevated button will be for the uppercase letter for the student name value so right in here upper case later after this set the size box give the height 10.0 now elevated button in here this one will be for lowercase letter right in the text we'll say lower case later now we will work right in the on press right in here so in here we will simply change the student name value to the uppercase so for this right student dot name dot value equal it to student dot name dot value and we will set it to uppercase letter right in here as you guys can see after this in here on this one press right student this one will be for a lowercase letter so right name dot value equal it to student dot name dot value set it to lowercase as you guys can see so now we will test the application so we'll simply go there and click in here this will take some time wait for a while So now if I click in here on this uppercase letter my name will be changed to the uppercase letter as you guys can see it's now in the uppercase so now we will change it to the lowercase right down here click on it there we go so we successfully make the variables individually reactive or let's say observable so now we will go and make the entire class observable or let's say reactive so that one will be another method so close this and this we will do some changes for the entire class observable so go to the student dot dot in here we will come in this and after down in here so for the entire class observable or let's say reactive for that we will have a variable in here right name and after this we will have another variable we will say age now in here we will have a constructor and in here with the parameters this dot name and also for age this dot age
now we will go to the main dot dot we will make some changes in here now in here we will come in this instance and after this so for making the entire class observable in here now we will set the student to the student class in here and we will pass the name in here my name and after this we will pass the age and we will make this observable or let's say reactive so write OBS so this will basically make the entire class observable so now after this we will make changes in here we are not required to write it like that we will simply change this student dot value dot name as you guys can see the error is gone in here so now we will comment this line of code because this is for the individual variables so comment this and after in here we will say student and we will call the update and in here it will take the student type in here so write in here student after this in here we will say student dot name equal to student dot name and here we will set to string and we will set it to the uppercase there we go add a null check in here with this name and that so click in here and add this there we go and in here too so it's fine now now we will come in this line of code and in here we will simply copy this line of code first put semicolon in here and then copy and paste it down here now we will change this to the lowercase letter right in here as you guys can see there we go so there is for the entire class observable and so definitely OBX will automatically update the student name value so that's it for the entire class observable now we will run the application and see if it's work or not so click in here now click in here on this uppercase letter it's working fine as you guys can see uppercase letter and now let's try on this lowercase letter there we go so it's working fine with the entire class observable and that's it for the video we will work further in the next video